We are back with OC Finals Game 2, ABR vs. Bengay. We see a total kiss, so you already know, um, ABR potentially expected Bengay to bring stall. This team looks really cool that ABR has. Some sort of balance. Got the Tangros to check. Ash Granger, we got the Mew for the Medicham, we got the Celestia to overall bounce, uh, not bounce, to overall pivot around. Be annoying with Leech Seed. Even though it could be a random offensive Celestia, I could see that too. As the <laughs> ABR goes for T If you already know ABR has the Saws like that, he stays in on a Gengar with a Stoicus and goes for Thunder Wave turn 1. Oh my lord. And we see the Nasty Pot here. And not every Celestia dealer runs Flash can or Heavy Slam. But yeah, most do. It's the Inferno Overdrive! ABR the God! Get out of here! Dude, I, I swear everyone said Ben Gay would win this and I was rooting for ABR and I was like... I know this guy's prep game is on point, like you cannot... You cannot tell me, like people were telling me that Ben Gay would 2-0 him, like get out of here. Like I know ABR hexed game 1, but he had good matchup too and I don't think that mattered too too much. <clears throat> Shoutouts to Dennis the Menace, he said the same in the uh, Discord chat. And I love how he always stays in with Togekiss and goes for T-Wave on the Gengar, even though Sludgewave could blow him away. Maybe he has the dev investment to live with Sludgewave, I'm not sure. ABR did that homework. But yeah, no disrespect to Bengay, he's obviously a great player, he made it to finals and it's not over yet, but it's looking good for ABR. As the Gengar gets screwed oh my lord. Yeah, so that was that was a quick OST finals game. <laughs> you can still miss Earth Slashes here on the Dragon Dance. So let's not speak too soon. That boy just let up with the Torgus and said, I'm not switching out. I'm clicking T-Wave, Nasty Pot, Inferno, Overdrive. I'm getting this flinch too because I'm ABR, yes. And I'm not missing the next Earth Slash because I'm the GOAT. I mean, yeah, he locks, but... The crazy part was staying into him on the Gengar. <laughs> this is the Thousand Arrows, that does a 50. I don't know if that's banded, because I assume this is offensive Togekiss. But yeah, it could be, it could be like HP invested Togekiss at max speed. Like, and we see the Z move. Devastating Drake. Tangos eats that up, makes me think it's a defensive Tangos. And HPS picks off the kill on the Zyga, ABR 6-0. 6 0s Bengay, 2 and 0 win. And okay. I don't know why I made a separate video for game 1. I should have put this together. ABR wins 200 bucks. Congratulations uh, to ABR for winning OST. Uh, didn't expect that. I was expecting a long game. But yeah, let's hop to Smog on forums. Look at the threat real quick. <laughs> what people have to say. <laughs> but yeah, the token set was pretty heat. So it was Z Heatwave, I assume. Or a uh, Togus gets Fly Blast, yeah. Data, learn. I learned Togus Fly Blast. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, Where's the real finals? This is the real finals, my man. Yeah, if the Togus had special attack quick on Gengar, it didn't matter, okay. Yeah, Togus can learn Fire Blast, so yeah, I think it was a Z Fire Blast. Like, just how this team looks, it looks really cool. Probably Scarf Chomper. Oh, Scarf Chomper or Scarf Kelio? Uh, I could also see a Spex Kelio, which is underrated. I think it can do some work. But it obviously gets kept in check from Feeny and Toxapex, but. If you weaken those, you can put in some work. Like, you can pair it with a Duggy, with a Z Move Duggy, for example, to trap Toxapex and then. Can put him some work. But yeah, I hope I didn't get trolled and this was the real finals game. But it seems so. <laughs> All decided by Hex, that was lame. What do you mean? Game 1, I don't think the Hex mattered.
Game two, yeah. Game two kind of mattered, I guess, um, in a sense. I think the game would have been closer in game two, but I don't know if it was game changing. And why wasn't the finals best of five? So yeah, we are here in the in Smogon forums in the thread, and it already says Smogon tournament won finals won by ABR. So yeah, this was not fake or anything. Let me post some. I'll post it later. Let's go through this. It's just people saying grads, yeah. yeah. That was super wild. I didn't ever expect that. About time we get a trophy. Let me drop a like on that. Young OB. Smoke on tournament 13. Yeah, I wish it was best of five now because I wanted to see a long series. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, here we see um, basically who they defeated to get into finals. A lot of people were predicting Bangay to win, and I was. I wasn't 100% sure that maybe I would win, but I knew he can prep really well. But yeah, the turn one was really crazy. Like, I didn't expect ABI to stay in turn one. But. He either had some ball control, his deliver sludge wave, at least from Scarf Gengar, from Spex Gengar, obviously not. Or he just made a risky prediction there. Like, he had a. He had a. Um, I don't know if the Steeler was Spadef to pivot in. He had some pivots into. Shadow Ball slash Sludge Wave. <laughs> Bush just asked what game is it on. Who's man? Who two hours in finals that fast? Good lord. But yeah. Yeah, the prize money for this year. For this year's winner is 200 bucks. Good lord. Congratulations to ABR. Um, I think ABR doesn't do tutoring anymore. Kind of sad because, like, I always um was considering getting a tutor for just in general for Sun and Moon especially. And I heard that ABR tutored Zemrock, so I was interested in that. But I don't think he does it anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if you are rooting for Bengi. Um Yeah, Bengi beat my man Padlop, so in round four here we see here. It's like he's already god, because who beats Padlop the heck is god. Oh the semifinals was Melakis, I think that Bengi won 2-0, that was Yeah, what a cool series. I started um, watching... Like, ABR I didn't even see. Like, I didn't see the first seven rounds. I saw, I recorded ABR was 100 host Kaido. I recorded versus Leak. And I recorded versus... Oh, Mazinga. Oh, Mazinga's a Smogon. I recorded versus esteemed user Ginku. Is this Smogon and Mazingu? But yeah, I recorded around seven quarterfinals and semifinals. For Bengay, um, Fish 81 versus Fish 1899, I recorded that, but I was like half asleep, so that wasn't the best. Um, was Taxi Driver I missed? Oh, yeah, I recorded was Jace's and Malakis, or my dudes recorded was Jace's game one. And where's the game that. Oh, yeah, never mind. I was about to say someone recorded. Someone made a guest upload on my channel for. Bengay series, but it was not for Bengay, it was for updated Kanto with someone, I forgot. Anyways, uh, this is cool. But for ABR, kinda surprised that he didn't have a trophy yet. Um, he was in OST, OLT finals. Um, I don't think last year, I think the year before that. Yeah, last year Polk won with his Eternal in OLT. But yeah, we have. World Cup coming up in I think two or three weeks, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna be hype. Even though some people don't really like World Cup because it's like they say it's unfair because it's like US East has like the best players. 
pretty much most of the people agree on that. And like you can only play for the country that you are in at the moment. Like you have to live in the country in the moment I think that you have that you want to play for. But yeah, I think my man Padlob is gonna play in World Cup, so congratulations on that, my man, if you're watching this. Um, what other tournaments are coming up? Uh, Smogon Tour will go into playoffs um, after next week. Next week is the last week there will, where it's going to be black and white. And after that, there's going to be playoffs. I think there's going to be 16 people in playoffs. And it's going to be black and white, Auras and Sun and Moon OU. So this will be um, best of three for playoffs. And that's pretty hype. I hope my man Petlop gets into that. He needs some points in black and white to make it. I hope he can do it. And both other tournaments are coming up that I'm recording for you guys. Uh, OU Circuit um, has caught my eye of attention, if that makes any sense, if that is correct English. I'll try to get some games, because Poe DCG Game at a guard is still in that, and I really like how that guy is playing, and I just... Like, in the last weeks, I just heard the first time of him, I didn't know who he was, and it turns out to be really good. Recorded his OUPL game today, this will probably go up after this, so stay tuned for that, that game was cool. Besides some unfortunate events of hacks, but yeah, that was a cool game. A big congratulations to ABR and Bengay also had a good run and congrats for being second, I guess. Uh, I mean, that kind of sounds weird because you, you obviously want to win if you're in finals, but I hope he's not too disappointed. I mean, I'd be super mad after that game too, where like, where he stays in with Tokyo's turn one to click T wave and he didn't go for Sludge. That was like weird. Like this turn here, I just have to replay it. Tokis, Gengar, switches out, Thunder Wave, nice deep load, Bob. Like, just look how I, was, I can skip through this game in like t t 3 seconds and it's over. It's just 10 turns, it's crazy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content and you stay tuned for more. And peace out. Dogwitch signing out. I don't know why that intro was so weird. <laughs> Outro.